to be proportional to the gain to the gain function because in a laser transition in a laser transition only this frequency can be amplified so the gain has to be proportional to the line shape so this small g omega is proportional to the gain function as well only certain frequencies can be amplified inside the laser cavity and those frequencies that can be amplified are of course the lasing frequencies only these frequencies can be amplified <coughs> because population inversion can occur between these levels so now we have a gain function and we have a loss line now sustained laser operation can only take place when the gain exceeds the losses when the gain exceeds the losses therefore we look at this curve look at this transition look at this cavity mode this cavity mode lies within the line shape function but the loss is higher than the gain therefore sustained oscillations cannot occur for this at this frequency only for this frequency is the gain higher than the loss for this frequency the gain is higher than the loss for this frequency the gain is higher than the loss for this frequency the gain is higher than the loss so now we have done we have successively moved to selecting only those transitions only those cavity modes which are inside the line shape function but whose gain exceeds the losses therefore if we look at the spectrum of light that comes out from this laser the real spectrum will comprise 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 frequencies and these frequencies will be modulated by this line shape function the height of these frequencies the intensities of these frequencies so this loss also depend on omega the loss is dependent on omega i've just drawn a straight line for simplicity the loss does depend upon omega so the this lossy line can be wavy as well but the same condition applies the gain has to exceed the loss theek hai to samjhana aasan tabhi hoga na jab main straight line banaunga so if you look at the spectrum output spectrum from this laser using a spectrometer you can find those spectrometers or monochromators or fabry perot interferometer which tells you what the spectrum of the laser is it will comprise these five lines these five frequencies so those frequencies are excited which are within the gain bandwidth which are within the gain bandwidth and for whom the gain exceeds the losses so this is an example of what is called a multi mode fiber a multi mode laser this is the first kind of laser the first mode of operation of a laser most lasers that operate the cheaper ones or the economical ones they are multi mode lasers they comprise multiple frequencies and the spectral width of this laser is effectively the same as the as the gain bandwidth this is not monochromatic so this is quasi monochromatic you can never make a laser you can never make a laser with just one frequency so all lasers are quasi monochromatic they are good or they are good approximations to monochromatic light but they really not monochromatic so this multi mode laser comprises all of these frequency components with different intensities with different intensities all right so this is the operation of a multi mode laser theek hai aur main isko summarize dobara kar dun ke cavity kuch modes allow kar rahi hai फिर लाइन शेप फंक्शन उसमें से कुछ मोड्स को सिलेक्ट कर रहा है फिर गेन 
गेन की शेप है गेन फंक्शन है गेन बैंडविड है वही मोड्स असल में एक्साइट होंगे वो मोड्स लेज, लेजर प्रोड्यूस करेगा जिनमें गेन लॉसेस ज्यादा होगी लॉसेस को ओवरकम करना ना सस्टेन्ड ऑसिलेशन के लिए तो दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऑपरेशन ऑफ अ मल्टी मोड लेजर वॉट अबाउट अ सिंगल मोड लेजर Now, just using the same concepts, a student asked a question about a, about the spacing between these cavity modes. How can we make a single mode laser? What's the easiest way of doing this? What's the easiest way of achieving a single mode laser so that only one frequency is excited? Hmm? Minimize what? Minimize. Unche bolle. ये एटम्स की एटम्स के दरमियान ये जो इनके दरमियान स्पेसिंग है इसको क्या करें कम करें ज्यादा इसको कम करेंगे या ज्यादा करेंगे ज्यादा करेंगे ये ज्यादा सेपरेट होंगी देखो ना एटम्स पर तो हमारा इख्तियार नहीं है ठीक है एटम्स पर हमारा ज्यादा से ज्यादा इख्तियार क्या है लाइफ टाइम ब्रॉडनिंग पर हमारा कुछ ज्यादा इख्तियार नहीं है ठीक है लाइफ टाइम ब्रॉडनिंग पर सिर्फ ये इख्तियार है हमारा कि हम मीडियम तब्दील कर दें रिलेटिव परमिटिविटी चेंज कर दें जिसकी वजह से लाइफ टाइम कम ज्यादा हो सकती है हमारा ज्यादा इख्तियार नहीं है लाइफ टाइम पर प्रेशर पे कुछ इख्तियार है ठीक है वी डिक्रीज द प्रेशर ऑफ द गैस सो दैट कोलूजन आर लेस फ्रीक्वेंट सो दैट वी कैन मेक दिस लाइन शार्पर सो दैट वी डिक्रीज द गेन बैंडविट सो देर आर टू वेज इधर डिक्रीज द गेन बैंडविट मेक इट शार्पर और इंक्रीज द स्पेसिंग बिटवीन दीज कैविटी मोड्स ठीक है सो वी कैन वेट फॉर टू थ्री मिनट्स एंड देन वी विल कंटिन्यू आफ्टर दी
which means that we have to tweak the atomic transitions. This means we have to make this line sharper. This means we have to change the pressure of the gas. We have to decrease the pressure so that collision broadening becomes smaller. Or we do not have much control over doctor broadening, by the way. So it's very difficult to change the atom. So really, the only way of achieving a single mode laser, or one of the ways of achieving a single mode laser, with the, with the same atom, with the same conditions, is to increase the spacing between the cavity modes. Make these cavity modes spaced apart, further spaced apart. And how can we increase the spacing? By decreasing the length of the cavity. Make a smaller cavity, much smaller cavity. Instead of a 100 centimeter long laser, we have a 10 centimeter long laser, or a 5 centimeter long laser, or a 1 centimeter long laser, or a nanometer size laser, <coughs> such as a quantum dot. Quantum dot acts as a laser. The dimensions are so small, the dimensions are so small that the modes are spaced very far apart. <coughs> it is generally, quantum dots are single mode lasers. The gain bandwidth does not change. The gain bandwidth remains this yellow curve. And the losses, the gain bandwidth increases, uh, is more than the losses only for this particular frequency. So this is how you achieve a single mode laser. There's, there's no spectral purity in this laser. Okay? It has only one frequency. Again, it's not purely monochromatic. It's not purely monochromatic. There will be a small dispersion as well. But this is a single mode laser. Only one longitudinal mode is accepted. But what's the problem with decreasing the cavity length? I ask you a question. Which of these lasers, whether it's acting in a single mode or multi mode, which one of these will generally be brighter? Which one will be a more intense laser? The multi mode laser. First, it has a large number of modes. Second, the cavity length is longer. Therefore, the stimulated emission is coming from a larger number of atoms. Okay? So, the more the atoms which are lasing, the more intense the radiation. So it's very difficult to make bright or intense single mode lasers. Most multi mode lasers are bright and intense, but single mode lasers are generally of a low voltage. But yet, there is another technique of sometimes it's not feasible to change the cavity length. Because then you will be modifying the laser or making a new laser. And making a new laser. Although I would like to give my students in, in, in the lab a chance to make a laser, but it's not trivial. So changing the cavity length is not always at our disposal. So is it possible to have a multi-mode laser and select only one wavelength out of all the modes? Yes. Suppose we have, let's draw the laser cavity again. Mirrors. The gain medium of the laser amplifier. Now this is a multi-mode laser. There are a large number of modes in this laser. And what we want to do is we want to selectively pick up one transition or pick up one mode. You have to select one mode. So there are different ways of achieving this. Can you think of, of some possible mechanism of just picking up one wavelength out of those wavelengths or picking up one mode? Filter? Optical filters. So it's all right. So we need an optical filter, agreed. But an optical filter with a bandwidth which is small enough that it can separate between these two nearby modes. So effectively we need an optical filter, a spectral filter. 